Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at the EG4 Power Lift Pro. They first announced this thing months ago and I've been looking forward to seeing it ever since. So some of the specs on it, it's around 61 inches high, so just over five feet. It can lift up to 31 inches. I can talk more about that later. And then you can lift as far as pounds, around 440, I think they say 441 pounds you can lift with this. And this will mostly be used by installers. It's powered by a drill. You don't need any specific motors for it, so any type of drill will work with it. Like lots of people are using wall mount batteries at this point, and they are my favorite type of battery. So in order to get those hauled around somewhere, you're definitely going to need something that can lift them. And they have handles on most wall mount batteries. All the EG4 batteries come with handles and a rope to be able to help lift them onto the wall but it's still a heavy lift they're close to 300 pounds so with this unit here you can not only use it as a dolly but then when you get up to the wall you can lift it up onto the bracket once you mount it on the wall and it's drill powered so you don't need any specific motors or anything like that everyone's got a drill or at least they should if they're an installer they should or if you're installing your own solar setup you're going to need a drill either way so that's a good idea to have that as a motor. So I'll focus in here in just a second and then we'll test something. We'll lift up a battery, see how well it does. So starting at the bottom, they do have brakes on the unit here and they have little bearings. So this is part of what actuates with the drill and they send a, a separate set here in case these wear out. I think that's a little above and beyond because you'd have to use these a long time to wear them out because they are greasable. Came with grease in them already. Then working our way up the unit, come up to right here, all the warnings, please do not do this, please do not do that. And here's where you're going to attach the drill, and they send this bit with it to be able to attach to that to control the unit. So I'll focus in on the other side when I use this in just a second. Then all the way at the top here is where the brake is. Once you've gotten the battery where you want it, you'll pull that up and you can see this little pin right here. Sorry, it was hard to do it with one hand. But you set this pin in. Now you can't roll it anywhere. The brakes are set. So that's what you do right before you lift the battery up. And then around this side of the dolly, these are the forks or the feet here. And they fit right on these rolling feet at the bottom. And these will fit in any underneath any of the Power Pro batteries, basically anything with feet on it. So any wall mount battery should have feet for these to get underneath. So nothing should be flush to the ground that you're gonna lift, but it's right around an inch. And then when you count the rubber on there, it might be around an inch and a quarter off of the ground with these all the way on the ground. Up from there, pretty simple. These are just some rubber spacers. So nothing scratches on the face of the battery while you're lifting up. And then a strap. This is gonna hold the battery to the lift. I don't normally record from this angle, but it was so tough to be able to get the entire lift in the picture here. This is a wall mount battery that I still need to finish reviewing, but a part broke on it and the replacement part has to come from China. So it's a DIY kit you can get. So I've been waiting a bit, but it's a good test for the unit. I don't have any of the EG4 wall mounts available right now. So I'm going to put this to the test here. Oh, I've got the brake set still. So this, this uh, battery is actually a little bit heavier than the EG4 wall mount batteries. So, like I said, should be a good test for it. Oh, that strap's easy to use. I was worried it would be one of those like you have on the dog collars that it takes you 20 minutes to loosen and tighten. But no, that was pretty simple. So we should be good to go. Let me get the drill. Actually, first I guess I should... Lean it back to see how well it lifts like this. Huh. Oh yeah. Easy peasy. Not bad. This is probably, the tipping point is probably it. There we're, it to be careful. That's the case with any dolly though. Makes it a little harder with this battery because it has wheels on the bottom. So as soon as it's set down, I saw it trying to track off to the right or to the left. So the EG4 is not going to have that problem. It just has feet on the bottom. That is wild. It's also noisy. 
I could just get my other drill too. You don't have to use an impact. Let me get another drill. I'm gonna have to change the angle of the camera as we go up maybe. All right, that is right at, I'll show you guys one second. Let me get around, take the camera around to this angle here and I'll show you how you can see that's the maximum you're gonna do. That's pretty high looking for a 300 pound battery. Hold on. But right as you get around here, as soon as you see this sticker, you know you're running out of height. It goes just a smidge above this, but it's right around 31.9 inches or something. You can almost get 32 inches. We can measure off the floor here. Yeah, I've got a little more to go, but you can see we're right at 31 inches off of the floor. This is wild, though, seeing the thing way up in the air like that. Especially lifting, just getting this off of the floor when it's flat, when you're trying to put it together, about breaks your back. But to think this thing can lift it all the way off the ground, 30-something inches, that's just crazy. <laughs> strap almost looks like a like a seat belt but it's just got teeth on it yeah easy easy to clip in also these are solid tires so no air in these no chance of anything going flat that's a good call all right guys so like i mentioned it's mostly going to be for installers most people aren't going to need this item or want this item for just a, a simple homeowner install to, to put three or four pro batteries, especially at the price. I think they're right around 900 something. With shipping, you're a little over $1,000 for this unit. So what I would like to see from a unit like this, rather than it just be a wall mount battery lift, I would like for it to be able to function in other ways as well. So I'll show you guys what I mean by that. When you look at the forks, I would like for them to be a little, and I'm, I'm using the terminology forks because I'm going off of forklifts. I've worked with them most of my life. But if you could have a little attachment that would slide onto them and you could put a rack battery on these as well, for installers even, it would be nice to have an attachment where the forks would stick out a bit longer because the forks are only around 10 inches long. Actually around nine and three quarters inches long. Most rack batteries are going to be 18 to 22. It depends on the version you get uh, inches long. So it would be nice to have like a set of forks that were actually clipped on the side if they were magnetic or if they had a little thing to put them in where you could slide them on and to be able to use this for rack batteries also for installers. And that way you could have this install to, to be able to slide off of this onto the rack. So this is what I'm talking about for the rack batteries. Right now you have nine and a half inches to the end of the forks. But for to make it safe for the rack batteries, let's say you'd probably need three quarters of the rack battery covered. So it'd be nice to have somewhere around the 15 to 16 inch mark. So out to here or so, somewhere in that area. So it'd be neat to have some sleeves that came onto here or maybe, I don't know, a one piece thing that slid on either way it seems like it would be a neat idea to be able to put a kit onto here but again you'd need some stickers that said don't install the kit if you don't have yeah but it would work like even with just these down here you could have the extensions and put these into a, a put some rack batteries into a cabinet without any problem it's not going to tip forward with just 100 pounds on here and you've got these little brackets on the bottom at least in my opinion anyway it's an idea if that's making sense. In the past, I've used a little orange lift from Vivor and I can put the rack batteries on that and then put them into the shelf. And one person can put the rack batteries into a cabinet. But if you're having to load three or four cabinets up and they're 100 pounds a piece, it can absolutely break your back. So it would be neat to have, in my opinion, it would be neat to have something like that to be able to use this in a more, I guess, dual purpose, but more than dual. I would like for this to be able to lift high enough to install inverters. Most inverters are going to be over 40 inches high if they want to be above a PowerPro battery and they want to have one of the conduit boxes underneath. 
then again, that causes issues too, because most people aren't going to work from the top down with that. They're going to work from the bottom up. So they'll put one of these pro batteries on the wall first, then they'll put the conduit box, and then they will put the inverter on top. It still would be a nice option to be able to have this lift high enough to put an inverter at the height you want. So that would be a little over 40 inches. But that's going to be problematic because these units can't lift that high without having tipping issues, which is I'm assuming is why they have the limit right around 31 and three quarters or something inches off of the floor. So I was thinking it would be neat to have outriggers, something you could take down if you were going to lift above a certain amount. Granted, this is putting the burden on the user, but there's always going to be some risk with the user. Like they could drag this down steps and uh, go first and have this follow them and get crushed or some other crazy thing like that. So you could do anything to injure yourself with this unit, I'm sure. But it would be neat to have outriggers that came off of this that were either manual or they were actuated by the drill where when you drilled down, they came down and kind of stabilized it, whether it was like a tripod or something like that. Or like I said, if it, if, even if it was a bracket, if you planned on going above the 32 inches, have a bracket come down with a little tripod and you put it on the slab or wherever it is you're doing it and screw it down and make sure that's mounted first and then do the inverter. I'm just thinking for one person installs. The same reason I was thinking about the rack battery option for this too. It would be neat to have this uh, be used for more than just the wall mount batteries. But I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I know in my case, I think it would be really nice to have around the shop to be able to lift higher to put all these test inverters I put on the wall, certainly. But at 30 inches, I can't get an inverter up to the right height with that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll put a link to this in the description below. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned.